What is up guys, my name is Agri K and yesterday I did a live stream in this game showing you pretty much two of my favorite ways of making money and if you're not into live streams I thought I might as well show you them right here in a small little video as well. Now, one of them is a lot more risky than the other and uh, this one, quickly gonna take a look at our reputation tab, we are in Mehoyed where we have 36 reputation and the way we're gonna take this approach to making money is the bad one we have a lot of points in stealth and what? when you hit level five in stealth you get this ability stealth kill now you want to do this to guards pretty much out of sight for everyone else to see because yes of course it is illegal but hurting the guards and no one seeing you doing it is a really 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 good way of making money let's just drop him here and i will show you pretty much why gonna loot him now look at this has a sword to 315 some gauntlets to 212 and this dyed milanese brigandine 2.1k value 500 on the knight spurs 450 on the male coif and 1k on this thing I mean, these guards are a gold mine, and you if you just kill a few, you can stock them up and sell them to the millers whenever they have money stored up again, and you will never be in money trouble. I nearly guarantee you that, because it's just such an easy way to make a few bucks, and, and if you have the stealth thing, you really, really just... Well, you pretty much start out with takedown. Takedown is the first one you're probably going to be taking which lets you knock them out you can knock them out as well but that is not as powerful as this one allows you to kill from stealth you have to have a dagger now you need to have the dagger in your inventory for this to work you don't need to have it equipped you need to be level five in stealth and then you do pretty much just what i did find that solitary guard walking around the outskirts of the city and just to show you as well as you see here it didn't have any negative impact on our reputation either <coughs> But as this guard is approaching as well, I don't think he's gonna spot him, so we should be alright. Oh, he actually did. But he has no idea I did it, and he has no one else around here. So we're gonna take this guy out too. I just quickly loot him. Well, this guy had nothing compared to the other one. But we'll take what is worth the most, and then we're gonna leave this. But as I just showed you, guards are an insanely good way of making money. Now, you could do this in towns as well. You don't have to be as sneaky as I was. I just like being stealthy and not getting discovered. But if you run around and just kill guards, it is working the same way. You just get to loot them. Just bear in mind your reputation in that city is pretty much going to be gone. And you're going to have a hard time rebuilding it. But if you just have one city that you don't really care for anyway well this is a solution to you making a ton of money really really fast and another great way of making money in this game which is a little less criminal although still not legal because you are poaching is hunting now these are great to find well let's see if we can actually get one of them just to stand somewhat still let's hit Need to put an arrow more into him Still not going down. Starting to look like a right porcupine here. There we go. The spore is finally down. But just killing a few animals, especially red deer, I have found very, very valuable. Venison is insanely pricey. Boar meat is great too. They just they are a bit harder to kill than actual red deers. But just look at this, you have 202 pieces of meat, valued at 16 groschen each. That is a whole lot of money, guys. Now we're gonna take this, gonna be completely overweight, gonna go into our inventory, have a look at food. It is stolen, but there is a really simple way that you can actually get rid of that stolen tag. You just cook it. Just go to a fireplace somewhere cook it it's gonna be cooked in batches so it's not gonna take as long as one might think now when it's now being cooked you can see here it's valued at 16.8 groschen and we have 202 pieces of it so that means we're actually getting close to 1600 groschen 
from just that one single boar if we can find a vendor who pays half the price, which should be doable somewhere. Depending on your reputation and everything, of course. Biggest problem is going to be to find them with the amount of money. And then there is another way I want to show you, which has turned out to be a very, very great way of making money for me. And probably the way that I've made the most money. And it's really legal as well. You want to, whenever you see nettle, you want to pick these up. They are pretty much all over the world. And then you also want to find these. Marigold. I know it might not be as entertaining or as interesting as some of the other ways to make money, but as said, I've made by far most of the money I have this way, just doing herbalism and alchemy. You will need a special potion to make a lot of money this way. It is also the one that I've really used the most to level up my alchemy but it is insanely good money and now when you have picked up all the marigold and the nettle you go to an alchemy bench this does i believe it does require you to know a bit of alchemy i actually haven't checked it out myself but uh, i would imagine you might as well just learn alchemy to get better at it at least but you will need this potion right here we need to do this one the marigold decoction you can buy this from pretty much all of the apothecaries around uh, or you can just steal it from them as well if you can find their chests but we're gonna auto prepare it by pressing e and we need to add some water into the mixture add the nettle hit q to make it boil Pick up one handful of the marigold to throw in as soon as it's done boiling. Which is, it's actually not boiling right now, but the game still think it is as it is warm. And now it's stopped. Put in the marigold. Take another handful of the marigold. Take a vial, because we don't need to boil it anymore. and complete the potion. Now we should have made Marigold Decoction. And I'll quickly show you why it is such a good way of making money. Just look at it. One potion is worth 35 Grushin. Basically one nettle and two marigolds. And you find these all over the place. And this recipe is by far the best one that I've found so far. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Let's talk trade. Uh, he doesn't really have too much money, but it is okay. We're gonna go with this anyway. Look at this. 21.6 Grushin per piece. That means for 11, we should be able to completely empty this guy's bank. That's a Finally, really fair a offer as well. Sum. But I hope you guys found this little tutorial useful. And as said, there is a high risk, high reward guard thing. There is the low risk, medium reward hunting thing, which is actually pretty damn fun too, but requires a little more effort. And then there is the all legal make potion thing. So there is pretty much a thing for anyone and uh, i hope you found this useful if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe and uh, please leave your ideas to make grassian in this game in the comments down below see you in the next one